Welcome to this series on cooking with The Microbiome Expert. We're going to talk about a wide variety of food and cooking topics. So oftentimes when I'm recommending to people don't consume dairy proteins, well the number one response is, guy, you're an idiot, you're wrong, you don't know what you're talking about. Number two response is, where do I get my calcium from? Now, something like a Selga or a Swiss chard is a fantastic source of calcium. You can do it with some other green leafies as well. I wouldn't go with like iceberg lettuce. I'd go with something more like this. That's where you can get your calcium from. I have a video on pH balance in the gut when it comes to bone health. And really what it ultimately comes down to what the science is showing is that it's the sulfur and the amino acids, cysteine and methionine. And so, dairy and your other proteins, such as these guys as well, are actually very, very high in these amino acids, then therefore high in sulfur. And so what happens then is the body needs to leach calcium into the blood to neutralize, to keep that pH, because the pH is kept in a very, very fine balance. It doesn't deviate very much. And so there's this kind of delicate dance of all the sulfur coming into the body, right, wanting to reduce pH, and the body drawing out calcium from the bone, trying to keep that pH in, in the normal limits, like I said, are very narrow. So dairy products, yes, they do contain a lot of calcium, but they also are basically liquid protein. And so as a part of that liquid protein effect, they bring a lot of sulfur into the body, and you're actually losing more calcium than you're gaining when you consume these dairy products like cheese and milk and so forth. So take a look at that video and it'll talk about people who don't consume dairy products, don't have osteoporosis, but they consume stuff like this and their needs are much less for calcium. In fact, the RDA for calcium is so high in the United States because we're not consuming much of this and we're consuming too much of this. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, somewhere around here, you can go to my website where you can schedule a consultation with me. You can also view the protocols. And here, you can watch the next video.